So we're going to go through and we're going to talk about some of these devices, but before we do, we want to talk a little bit about what the natural instinct is when people do have a kitchen fire in their house today. And a lot of times if a pan flares up, as we're going to demonstrate, the instinctive reaction is to either put water on it or to pick up the pan and carry it out of the house. And that is the absolute worst thing that you can do. You can burn yourself, and in addition to that, you can spread the fire by spilling the contents and catching other things in your house on fire, causing a bigger fire. So what people should do if they do experience a fire in their kitchen, in their house today, is take a pan and slide this over the pan, extinguishing the fire, and then discontinue heat to that element, get the other members of the house out, exit the house safely, and call 911. This is the safest way to extinguish a fire if you have a fire in your pan in your kitchen today. There are some devices that are on the market now that can make your houses safer in the event that you have a kitchen fire. One of those products is the one that we have set up here, which is a can that sits above the element on the range. So that way in the event of a fire, there's a fuse underneath that drops dry chemical on top of the fire, extinguishing the fire. When it discharges, there's a very loud pop. So that way, if you have an accidental fire, you're in another room, you don't know that this has happened, it will alert you that you've had a fire. You can come in and discontinue heat and then exit the house and call 911 just like you would if you had a fire in a, in a typical range. And we're going to demonstrate this product now. What you're going to see is you're going to see the fire build up and before the fire can get to the rest of the house, the fuse will go off distributing the powder on the fire. As you can see, after the device went off, it dropped the dry chemical onto the grease fire. So this is in the event that you had something that was on the stove, you had a grease fire, and walked away. You had the fire in your stove as if, if this had continued to grow, fire doubles every minute. This fire, every second that this isn't being realized that you had a fire in your kitchen, your house fire is getting bigger and bigger. It can cause to injuries, can cause to loss of property, can cause to death. By having this a device like this, this stops the fires from getting big. It catches them while they're still small. Yeah, I just hold up for a second. Okay. Similar to the dry chemical device, in our efforts to hope that fires can be eliminated before they start, there's a new device out that uses a different technology. On a typical range burner, temperatures can get over 1400 degrees, which is easily enough to ignite a fire. It's great for cooking your food, but it's also dangerous if you accidentally set something on the stove or a knob accidentally gets turned on and there's something that can burn on top of it, then you can have a fire. The new element out there is still hot enough to boil water. On the left side, we have one of these safety elements in place and you can see the water is boiling inside, just as it is on our typical electric burner. With this technology though, the temperature is significantly less than it is on your typical range burner. If you accidentally have a piece of paper or oil or something that can burn, it will smoke, but it won't catch fire. If this same thing happened on your regular element, the typical element in the house, and you accidentally had a newspaper or cloth or something that could burn, there's the paper. You can see it actually had flaming ignition on this one. You can see that the paper started to smolder, but it didn't ignite. That's because the temperature is significantly less than your regular element. As opposed to being 1400 degrees, it only heats to 668 degrees. 